my name is Valerie. Today I have an amazing, amazing book to share with you guys. I love the author's work and I reviewed a book by her. And this book that I'm about to be sharing with you guys is also truly wonderful. Read with Val. Read on, have fun, and dream big. And it is called The Many Fortunes of Maya, and it is by Nicole D. Collier. Nicole D. Collier also wrote Just Right Jillian, which I also reviewed on my channel, and it is amazing. So if you like this book, go check that one out. And if you like Just Right Jillian, then you will love Many Fortunes of Maya. So... This book is a realistic fiction book, and I would rate this book a 10 out of 10. The main character in The Many Fortunes of Maya is Maya, the character on this, the cover, the cover. And she collects fortunes from fortune cookies, and she puts them on this, like, big wheel. So she calls it the Wheel of Fortune, and that is why this book is called The Many Fortunes of Maya. Now, whenever she has a lot of questions, which in this book, the time that this book takes place, she has a ton of worries and questions. She goes to the Wheel of Fortune for some advice. And like, I remember there was one that said, tomorrow is a great day to try something new. And so she uses that piece of advice and she uh like it's in her mind and that is like the theme for that day maya has a lot of worries and questions her parents are fighting she's really into soccer so who will get the who will get awarded mvp and she really thinks that she should be able to get the mvp award because she is one of the stars on her team her best friend is also really really good so it's like a matchup between those two who will get the mvp award and also there's a new pool that just opened and um everyone gets a yellow bracelet the yellow bracelet is for the shallow end and if you're in the deep end you have to take a test to prove that you can swim and get a green bracelet and maya is not that great at swimming all her friends are getting the green bracelet and she has to find a way to pass the swimming test so she goes to her mom for help and when she does that she finds out a big part of her mom's life and she becomes closer to her mom that is all that is happening in this book oh i should also mention that before Maya really loved flute, playing the flute was her, like, it was her, like, she loved doing it so much. And then she got into soccer, and so she quit the flute. And she kind of has, um, inside her mind, she wants to play flute, but then she doesn't want to give up soccer. So that's also a very big, I guess argument in her mind um flute or soccer there's so much that's happening in this book that i mean maya is so busy she is such i mean a nervous and anxious person because she has all these like worries and struggles to deal with so reading this book i can kind of really i can relate to that having like a lot on your plate and having to decide um, between hobbies and how you want to uh, prioritize your time. So I would recommend this book to kids between the ages nine through 12. And I hope everyone enjoys this amazing book. It will come out January 24th of 2023. And thank you so much to the author and the publisher for bringing me this book. It was, it's so good. And I hope 
all of you guys out there will enjoy it as well. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. Remember to read on, have fun, and dream big. Bye!